Welcome to my daily report market analysis videos with me, Richard Payne, market analyst at Handtech on Tuesday, the 4th of February. Um, there's been a, a risk improvement in the past uh, 24 or so hours, actually pretty much since the week began. Um, that has been helped by these uh, measures by the PBOC, the liquidity measures to inject 1.2 trillion yuan into the, uh, into the system in China to try and help ease the um, concerns that uh, markets have got. And that certainly seems to have worked, but adding in to the fact that we have pretty broad set of pretty positive PMI numbers from the manufacturing sector across the major economies of the world yesterday. And we've seen that um, there was a, an, a rebound on um, equities, um, S&P 500 just off the highs, but still a decent close. And actually um, you can see on the futures here, that uh, the, uh, there are another percent higher today. And that really has helped pro propel the equities in European session higher, over a percent higher on FTSE, DAX and CAC. Um, and this uh, risk rally is also taking hold in the fact that uh, bond yields are starting to rebound today, 10 year higher, two year higher. Um, we've seen the volatility lower. We've seen the Chinese yuan strengthening back underneath seven against the US dollar. So these are all sort of risk positive measures. And you can see here through the um, majors board there where we've got the um, Japanese yen, which is uh, turning corrective. We're seeing gold, which is 10 bucks lower, another 10 bucks actually. That is now starting to break the down, uh, the uptrend and starting to turn a bit more, bit corrective potentially. So uh, we are really now sort of entering in the realms of the potential for a risk recovery. This is sort of second session in a row. So that's not really been seen um, recently, but it'll be interesting to see if this move can hold the move into the close, because obviously we did see a bit of a rebound uh, last week and then that was sold into. So um, that will be interesting to see if we can actually hold this gain uh, this time around. The oil price is certainly something to watch. Look at this oil price, big breakdown below 50 bucks yesterday on WTI, but rebounding today. That 50 bucks level is, look at that, a big, big support area around 50.50 on WTI. Got close to the downside yesterday, but sharply back higher today as OPEC and Russia are opening open openly now sort of talking about the prospect of further um, production cuts and that's going to help to st hopefully stem the tide of this selling pressure that we've seen through the oil price but you can see that the commodities complex is pretty much under pressure across the board look at that sharp move to the downside across the commodities index we've got the uh, copper price which is again showing that move and these are all real world indicators real world indicators showing um, the demand for real raw materials, which are basically the function behind global growth. So I think that these are the indicators that we need to watch out for. Now, in terms of um, where we're looking at today on the data front, we've got a pretty quiet day, actually. We've got the um, UK construction uh, PMI, which is around about 7% uh, of the UK economy, actually coming in hot, um, hotter than it, I should say less negative than expected 48 spot four is still in contraction territory but still a big jump from 44 spot four last time out and again that sort of continues this um trend that we've seen in recent days uh, or yesterday with the manufacturing pmis coming in better than expected so uh, it'd be interesting to see how the uk services data comes out uh, on tomorrow now um this afternoon we've also got the us factory orders Factory orders are expected to grow by 1.2% in December, having contracted by 0.7% in November. Now, that takes me on to my chart of the day, which is silver. Now, silver has been, I mean, I talked about gold just, just now, the fact that gold is in an uptrend, now starting to break that uptrend, mind you. Silver has been in this downtrend channel. So normally, silver and gold can be expected to move fairly similar directions, um, but obviously we have had this real um, concern over risk appetite in, in the past three weeks. And that really has dragged on silver because silver is a combination between a precious metal and also an industrial metal. So silver f sort of formaling away in this um, downtrend channel really does suggest that uh, there is not really the um, appetite to, to buy silver that there is to have gold. Now, silver correcting is more of a... To be honest, it's more of a choppy range play, if I get the crosshair,
going on here. You can see broadly speaking between the sort of 1730, 1735, 1740 area um, up towards the sort of 1830 area, it seems to be where we've played out. But there is this downtrend channel that we can see, but also coming through the RSI, which is falling away, and the MACD lines, which are falling away as well. Now, with the stochastics rolling over around that neutral point, is this another selling opportunity? We had that bearish engulfing candle yesterday, and uh, the little rebound move that we've got today is effectively, again, just sort of a little technical rally within the downtrend channel. Now, um, the hourly chart doesn't really show you a great deal in terms of direction. It's still pretty fluctuating, still pretty messy, but you can see a bit of a near-term pivot ar area around 1775, 1785 area bit of overhead supply, a bit of resistance in the last um, day or so around that level. And we've just unwound quite meekly towards that point. And you've got the um, momentum indicators sh showing similar sort of um, traits, actually, with the um, sort of formally the pivot line around 50 on the RSI. Now sort of 50 is a sort of limiting area on the hourly RSI. So it certainly seems as though little, little rallies are a chance to sell for pressure towards this 1720 to 1730 medium term pivot area on gold, which has been sort of turning points quite consistently around since August. And I think a retreat back towards there could well be seen. So with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos and go to our website to sign up for our webinar.